Hi there, it's on with Creoform and in this feature video, I will show you how to best select a nominal creation method inside of VX Inspect. As you may know, VX Inspect allows the user to compare the scan data to a reference object, which can be a CAD or another mesh. To create an entity, simply click on the corresponding icon that represents the entity. Here we are creating a cylinder and pick on cat is the nominal creation method. Pick on cat would recognize all the parametric entities on the cat model and allows the user to create that entity. Holding control on the keyboard will temporarily hide the mesh. You can also manually turn off the mesh from the inspection program or the tree view. So these are all the cylindrical geometries that the software had recognized on the CAD surface. And when I switch over to creating a cone, you can see the other surfaces begin to light up because they have a draft angle to them. To select and create the entity, simply click on the highlighted area and OK to confirm. Next on the list is fit on point, but we're gonna skip it for now and jump to fit on CAD model which is very similar to pick on CAD, except instead of being able to only select the specified entities, everything on the CAD model is selectable and the software would average out and best fit an entity. For example, when I click on a plane creation, pick on CAD would only allow me to select the flat surfaces. However, when I change it to fit on CAD model, all the surfaces are selectable and I can fit a plane on a surface that is not inherently flat. I can also average out two selections to best fit a plane. Now let's go back to fit on points. So instead of fitting an entity over the entire area, you can use anchor points to define an entity. This is useful when the software is not recognizing the correct geometry that you wish to create. Simply hold control on the keyboard and left click to anchor the points. To delete a point, click on it a second time. And as usual, click OK to create the entity. Orientation and center allows you to specify the i, j, and k as well as the x, y, z location for a manual entity creation. Perhaps there are no planar features to select from the CAD and you need to create a reference plane for a cross section. Or perhaps you want to create a perpendicular plane to an existing plane. Or another example would be if you have a hole that is too small for the scanner to pick up. You can insert a pin gate into the diameter and create a custom cylinder to match the pin. That way, you are able to measure the hole's true position using a creative way. You can achieve the same results using numerical values except it has a different set of parameters which you can adjust. Perhaps your CAD does not match the print and you don't have permission to modify the CAD. For example, maybe this hole should be smaller than what the CAD is actually showing. You can adjust the size of the diameter but still keep the same position for your inspection. Triangle selection can be used when comparing mesh to mesh. Select your nominal mesh and click on the icon to the left. Then use the triangle selection tools to define your entity. Setting the nominal creation method to none means you are not measuring against a reference object, such as the case when the CAD model does not exist. However, you can still create a blank entity and manually extract the measurement. Up to this point, we've been using the measurement method of mesh, and I had already gone ahead and covered all the items on the list. However, there exists another nominal creation method called constructed, which can only be accessed when you change the measurement method to constructed. The list of construction method will change depending on the entity itself. For the case of a circle, we can create a plane and cone intersection, which may not be selectable on the CAD itself. And there you have it. Thanks for watching, and if you find this helpful, please remember to like and subscribe for future videos.